The Ohio Bureau of Workers' Compensation, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and voluntary temporary staffing companies make up the Temporary Worker Alliance. The Alliance has created this program to address accidents and injury hazards for temporary workers. While office work may not be the most dangerous occupation, safety and health hazards do exist. Education and awareness can help prevent office injuries and illnesses. Your host employer should orient you to the physical layout of the office with particular attention to emergency exits. Become familiar with emergency alarms and equipment. You should read the employer's emergency action plan to learn where you must report and what you must do in a variety of situations. If your office assignment calls for you to enter a plant floor area, know that layout as well. Walkways and work areas around machines should be clearly marked and you must observe those marked areas. You may have to share traffic routes with materials handling vehicles. Always be aware of their movements and make sure the operators can see you at all times. Always give way to a moving vehicle. Whether a plant floor or an office, the employer must maintain a safe workplace. You can help by keeping your immediate work area and adjacent aisleways clear. Do not leave personal belongings, boxes, electrical cords, and other items where you or others could trip. Report spilled materials, loose carpet, and curled floor mats to your supervisor. Use only three-wire grounded fans or heaters. Place them on solid surfaces and keep the cords out of the way. Never place these units where you or others could contact them. Keep papers and other materials clear. Sitting in an office chair for long periods of leaning and slouching can put more stress on the back than standing and lifting. That's why it is important to maintain good posture to balance the natural curves of your spine. Here are some tips. Use a chair with lumbar or lower back support. You can use a rolled up towel if the chair does not have built-in support. Adjust the chair so that your arms are desk height and your upper legs are horizontal. You may need support under your thighs just behind your knees. Your feet should rest flat on the floor. Use a footrest if needed. Sit with your weight forward. Avoid sudden jerky motions in your chair by planning your movements. When you move, avoid twisting your torso. Move your whole body when you turn and turn with your feet and hips to face your destination. If you drop something, slide to the edge of your chair and place one hand on either your desk or your knee with one foot in front of you. This supports and balances your body as you retrieve the item. Plan to take periodic rest breaks and get up from your chair. It's a good idea to gently stretch and walk around. The top of the computer monitor should be at your eye level. A fancy monitor platform or an old phone book will raise the monitor to correct height. Position your keyboard directly in front of you, never at your side or on your lap. Desk height should allow you to bend your arms at 90 degree angles. This is your normal, natural work posture. Position the computer keyboard so that your wrists remain neutral or unbent while you type. Use wrist rests as a guide for the wrists while keyboarding, not as a spot to plant their weight. Tilt the monitor so that overhead lights do not reflect and strain your eyes. If you use a copy stand, place it as close to and at the same level as your monitor. This reduces eye movement and fatigue by shortening the distance between copy and screen. If you spend a lot of time on the phone, use a headset. It keeps your hands free for the keyboard and prevents awkward positions trying to phone and type at the same time. Finally, plan rest breaks that permit you to leave your workstation for a few minutes. Short breaks and body position changes allow your eyes, hands, arms, and back to rest. Elsewhere in the office, keep desk and filing cabinet drawers closed. You or others could trip on open drawers. 
place heavy materials in lower drawers and open only one drawer at a time. Do not operate office equipment unless you have been trained to do so. When using machines, make sure all guards remain in place. Do not wear long hair, clothing, or jewelry that could get caught in moving parts. You should store items in an appropriate place, such as a file cabinet or storage room. Use ladders when retrieving materials from shelves. Never stand on a box, chair, or other unsuitable item. Get help with heavy loads. Break them into smaller loads for convenience and safety. Use carts or dollies whenever they are available. Please use this program as a basic introduction and guideline to potential hazards in this type of work. The Temporary Worker Alliance does not intend this program to replace more detailed training called for by federal or state regulations or by company policies.